Y'all, we have a huge grocery haul for you this month. This is a multi-store grocery haul, well over $800 worth of food. And we are also going to do something new this month and do some taste testing of some of the new products at the end of the video. So hang on for that. All right, let's jump into the video, y'all. Here is our first haul of February. First haul post January pantry freezer challenge where we cleared pretty much everything out of our house. So we're starting from scratch on a lot of things. Hazel wants to say hello Hazel as always. Guess. You want to guess on the price? Hazel, do you want to guess on the price? How much did we spend at Walmart, Hazel? 138. $138. However, almost everything you see here. Is that right? That's hilarious, y'all. Jason was guessing. I thought he was telling me what I spent. <laughs> I think I spent more than that. But, like I said, I started to say, almost everything here had an Ibotta, and I will let you know about that. So, water actually had an Ibotta. It was like 10 cents, but whatever. We needed it. A2 milk is what I like to buy for the kids. It just is easier on digestion. And they gave me three of those. And I said no substitutions because this haul was so Ibotta-centered. But they did give me a fat-free lactose milk, which is definitely very different than whole milk. But anyway, so we got that. Craft cheddar cheese was on Ibotta, and I got a, the limit, which was five. Same with Philadelphia cream cheese, limit five, so I got my limit. This was provolone cheese. I'm planning on making some steak bowls, so I bought that. No, I bought it on that. And then here in the front, these meats were not on Ibotta, but I've been kind of craving red meat, and we did not eat a lot of red meat this month because that's not what we had, so I'm going to make some stew and I'm also going to make some chuck steak, like thinly shaved, kind of like Philadelphia style, you know, cheese steak. So I got that, and that's what the provolone cheese is for, and then also I'm going out of order here, but also these peppers and onions. So, back to our order here. Butter was on Ibotta as well, y'all. There are so many Ibotta deals on this table. I bought a deal, so I stocked up on that as well. Cultured butter, this is a pretty decent quality and the price was good with the Ibotta. Seasoning blend, I just like to have these because I'm lazy and they're really, really inexpensive at Walmart and it saves you from chopping. So I got a few of those to stock up on. Duke's mayonnaise was on the Ibotta. So I got that because we'll definitely go through it at some point. I try not to use it personally because of the inflammatory oils, but it's my family's favorite and that is one thing that I do still buy with bad oils. Bone broth, I'm completely out of bone broth at my house of chicken bone broth. I have some beef bone broth outside, but that was a great Ibotta deal as well. So I just got one because I still think I can get a better price at Costco. So I just got one. Cheetos, not anything special as far as Ibotta goes, unfortunately, but they're 98 cents a package and my son's obsessed, so I bought him some of those. Moving back down to the freezer section, y'all, I am all out of order today. I'm so sorry. I got some frozen spinach. I showed you those peppers and onions. I got a bunch of rice cauliflower because it's just a great price there. I also got some fries. I got two big bags of fries. These were also on an Ibotta and my kids have been liking to make fries themselves in the air fryer as a snack. So I just went ahead and stocked up on that. Then I've never tried this before, this cauliflower foods, but it's only two net carbs for a third of the crust. So, you know, even if you had a half, it'd only be four net carbs, right? Or that's probably the wrong math. But anyways, it's low on carbs and I just thought I'd give it a try because I saw it on Ibotta and thought, well, we'll just try it. Then the Columbus, I can't remember if this was on Ibotta or not, but I know we really enjoy this and we are completely out of like lunch meat type stuff, so I got that. Moving back to the Ibotta deals, these Keto Nut and Seed Bars Monk Pack are like $3 off on Ibotta right now, so I got three of them. And then the Ratio Keto Friendly, I'm pretty sure there was an Ibotta on that as well, and I've never tried it, so I thought we would try it. And then the Tostitos Scoops, and I think I forgot to show you this too, the Velveeta, are to do uh, 
dip for Super Bowl. So that's what I bought those for. I've got to hide those. I probably should not have bought that yet because they probably won't last that far. But anyways, here is our Walmart haul from the first week of February. Did y'all guess what the price was? The price was dun 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 176.16. So I mean, I feel like we got a lot of stuff and I need to go check on Ibotta, but we're gonna have a bunch of money back on this as well. So definitely use Ibotta. If you don't, I have a link below. And then you better believe that I used Fetch for this as well. Both Fetch and Ibotta for Walmart.com when you do pickup orders automatically come off. You don't have to go find your receipt. You don't have to scan things. They are just there and show up in your account. So let's go get on the phone and see how much. All right, we hit this little e receipt button, that blue button in the bottom, and it's checking my email for any e receipt. So anything that's connected to my email that can form a receipt, it will check those. So it's processing those first. That's what I'm doing first. So we got 50 points at Walmart today at Fetch, and then Amazon 25, Thrive Market 25 another 25 at Amazon and another 25 at Amazon since the last time I did it. So that was a bunch. That was a bunch that added up right now. And you can see up at the top here, I have 34,800 points left right now. So if I wanted to get a gift card today, I could. You can get gift cards for as low as $3, I think, up to 25 to $50 gift cards. So that was what we got with Fetch. Let's see, sometimes I bought it, it takes them like 24 hours to put stuff in, but let's see. Yeah, it does not have it on here yet. So it'll be on here in another day. It shows on the 20th, we got um, $13 back of, this is what we earned in, let's look at what we earned in January. In January at Walmart, I got $13 back here. 50 cents back here, 250 back here, and a dollar back here. So all of that is money we made on Ibotta. And then it usually takes up to a day to process when you spend money tied to a to um, an e-receipt. So it's not showing us today's e-receipt yet, but I'm thinking we made back probably at least 15 to 20 dollars on Ibotta this week based on all of these groceries. Okay, next haul. This is the Aldi haul for the 1st of February. Remember, we're stocking up, so this whole table is the Aldi haul. I don't even remember how much. Oh, we spent $217. Which is crazy for Aldi. Yeah, $217. Okay, we're gonna start from left to right, which is what I usually do. We have a champagne, a brute sparkling wine for one of Jason's, um, batch drinks he's working on as well as a bunch of limes we got two things of heavy whipping cream i am so excited that now all these heavy whipping cream does not have the carrageenan in it so i can again buy heavy whipping cream at aldi i do still prefer to get organic heavy whipping cream when i can the better quality possible with dairy but it we were at aldi so that's what i went ahead and picked up we got two things of their atomic spicy pickles my husband and my son love love these and they sell out so fast so if if i ever see them i usually get at least a couple i wanted some hot italian so or just some hot sausage but they only had italian style so that's okay got a bunch of ground beef this is not ground beef erica chicken this was a dollar 89 a pound so i got a bunch of that stocked up on ground beef we were completely out and i really do like their grass-fed ground beef and it's the cheapest grass-fed ground beef i can find got that honey cured ham this is for my son he uses this in quesadillas and sandwiches and stuff like that so got a couple things of ham moving down we got some frozen broccoli florets and i feel like we're missing no i didn't okay frozen broccoli and then this is a favorite around here for, to throw in the air fryer to make a quick sandwich a quick dinner a quick lunch so the kids mainly the youngest but the kids all really like these so i got a couple bags restocked on some snacks for them it, the snacks were completely out we used all of them in january so a couple different snacks jason got these beef sausage sticks to take to work to have a snack to eat at work 
And then I got a handful of cheese things. These are mini Brie Bites. I usually get these at Trader Joe's, but it was a little less expensive. I forget the price, but it was pretty good. So I got these little Brie Bites. I got these cheese folio wraps. I have never purchased these before ever, the Parmesan nor the cheddar, but we shall see. I may try that in like a sandwich wrap style in the next week or so. Got some manchego. I'm trying to get better quality cheeses for when I'm eating. So this is sheep milks cheese, which is goat and sheep cheese are really, really great to go with. I got some raw milk cheese from Switzerland. So trying to do better on choosing my cheese products. Got some, a couple tomato paste. These are like 20 cents at Aldi and I don't know when, I'm probably not gonna do a Costco stock up until March because I get my Costco yearly money in March. So I went ahead and picked these up. I usually get these at Costco. Jason got a couple things of nuts to take to work to eat on. Some salsa. My Aldi for the first time had these keto cookies. They were, they look like the high key type cookies, but it says zero net carbs for the one and one net carb for the other. There's usually two servings per box. So I thought we would try those. Um, Caroline likes these elevation bars. So I got a couple of those for snacks for her. Another cheese. Again, goat cheese is a really great option. These meal kits were on sale for like a dollar 79 and then a dollar off i think they just need to be eaten by today it says used by 1 30. so that's tomorrow i think so we're we'll make this for dinner for the kids one night but this is literally like a two dollar meal and it comes with everything you need chicken and all of the ingredients so i picked up a couple of those i wasn't sure if they would freeze if i thought they would freeze well I would have bought more and I bet they would, but I wasn't sure. So plus I didn't know if they would like it, but I'm thinking they really will. Moving on, this sweet and salty trail mix is a favorite of the kids. And usually we get it in these individual packs, which are great to take to school. I mean, they're going to school a couple days a week, um, but these are great for them, but I've never seen it in the big bag. And Jason thought the big bag would be great for him to just eat out of. So he loves to do nuts and trail mixes and stuff like that for snacky things. He also picked up this coffee to try out. And then the Cheez-Its were on sale for like a dollar something a pot. So we got a couple of those. And then we got a lot of chips. We always purchase the tortilla chips, just really good price. And then I got three just for everybody to try because I just thought it was interesting. And we're gonna taste test these for you on this video. So wait till the end of the video and we'll do some taste testing of all the new type things that we've purchased from these different stores today. So we've got the Cuban sandwich flavored kettle chips, the Nashville hot, and then the Taco Bell mild. So we'll try those out for y'all. Also, the Cinnamon Crunch Square Cereal. This is the knockoff, obviously, on the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but Fetch Rewards recognized it as an actual Cinnamon Toast Crunch, so I got 50 points for it today, which was kind of cool. I got the Citrus Aha Water. I really like that flavor. And then some bread for the kids. We leave one out, put the rest in the freezer. I'm doing some Philly cheesesteaks later in the week, so I got these for them. Andrew says that he likes Fig Newton bars now. He's never had, I've never bought them before, but I guess he borrowed, borrowed. I guess he's eaten them at school or friends or whatever, so I got some of those for him. Got some little Reese's Hearts, some Velveeta, off brand Velveeta, because Super Bowl's coming up and we like to do like the Rotel, Rotel. Salsa, sausage salsa. salsa that kind of stuff uh again i got these the kids have never had ding dongs in their life and i just thought they were cute and maybe it would be a fun treat so i got that i always stock up on a ton of chocolate for jackson he likes their chocolate and this entire thing is only a dollar 79 and then i like to get for me the 85 percent dark so i got a few of those as well and then i got these cookies for them they all really like them and i do not like them at all so it's not a temptation to me. So this is what 217-ish dollars got us at Aldi for this month. 
Next grocery haul of the week, we have our Thrive Box. I got a bunch of stuff and I'm trying some of their meat out this time too. So I'm gonna open this real quick and I'll show you what's in there. Everything's always packed so well. Here is our Thrive order, the meat package. I've never ordered meat from them before, but there's no meat in this. So I don't know if it's gonna come separate and it just hasn't come yet or what. This was a restock up of the stuff from Thrive. I've had most of it before. I got a new, another coconut and aminos because we needed it. I've never used their balsamic vinegar. I usually get balsamic vinegar at Trader Joe's, but I was almost out, so I went ahead and ordered that. These um, Mike's Organic Curries and Tiki Masalas and stuff like that, we really, really like. So there's two of the Tiki Masala, and I don't think we've ever tried the Red Thai Curry, but I got that one as well. I got a bunch of, I'm gonna be trying to do more of like a ketovore this month where I'm mostly eating um, meat, or mostly eating carnivore and then just throwing in a little bit. Like I'm still gonna have my Nut Pods coffee creamer so that's definitely not ketovore, but heavy cream is just not agreeing with me at all. So anyways, I got a bunch of pork rinds. Epic pork rinds and 4505 are both my favorites and the prices were really good. So I went ahead and got a bunch of those. I got little packets of monk fruit sweetener just to keep in the car in case we ever need them. I usually keep a packet or a little container in the car and I'm out, so I just restocked on that. It's nice to have something like that in the car for adding to coffees or things, different places or teas. I We love, love, love lemon and caper chicken or fish, so I always restock on my capers there. And then we also like their coconut milk, so I got an organic coconut milk and organic coconut cream, a couple of each of those. I have seen a few people haul these interesting drinks, these interesting sparkling waters. The flavoring is so strange, like pe peppermint, watermelon, cactus, rose, but people are raving about them. So since you could order just two cans, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try this. A pack of two was like $2.99 or something. So I decided I would try them. I just... I can't wait to try those actually. These are one of my favorite things. I love these Union Whole Earth Chorizo Crisps. Like I am obsessed with them. They are so good. They're 11 grams of protein per serving. I mean, it's just a chorizo, pieces of chorizo crisped up basically. So, so good. Um, and then I had never seen this one, but this is the pepper salami crisp. So I thought I would try that as well. I like to have these when I am out and about. These are something super easy to keep in the car or throw in my purse or take to a soccer game or that kind of thing. So I try to reserve, reserve those for that. And then the pork rinds are like, if I need a snack in the evening or if I'm feeling snacky, I'll have a few pork rinds. So I got a bunch of pork rinds and these kind of just to set myself up for success. Then I happened to see that they had these French onion seasoning mixes and I've been really into using French onion soup mix lately, but the one I've been using is definitely not the cleanest. So I saw these and decided to try them. And then raw Brazil nuts are a perfect way to get your selenium. Literally, if you just have one Brazil nut a day, you get your selenium that you need. And selenium is so important and it's something that we often don't get enough of. I used to like always buy these Brazil nuts and Jason and I would have one or two a day and you take them, you know, as a supplement. And we haven't done it in a long time. They just came across my feed when I was on Thrive and I decided that I was gonna get those and we were gonna start that back up. So this is what we got from Thrive. And then I also ordered a package of different red meats. Hi, baby. She thinks that these chorizo bites smell amazing, don't you? Oh, you giving them kisses? I'm giving mommy kisses? Okay, thank you, I love you. Okay, I love you. Let me finish talking to my friends. So this is what we got and like I said, I got the red meat package and it was like a bunch of different steaks and ground meat and stuff, but maybe it's gonna come later today or tomorrow. All right, the rest of our Thrive order came and this should be the beef. I have never ordered meat from them, but I thought I would try it. It says there's dry ice in here. I guess how that's how they guarantee that it stays. Is that the dry ice? Cause there's nothing yeah, left the in. All right, this 
maybe the yeah warning dry ice there's nothing in here this is completely empty so i'm a little worried we'll see. oh no this is it's it's solid frozen solid frozen y'all okay i'm gonna pull all of this out and i'll show you what we got in the meat box it was 99 dollars I absolutely love Thrive Market, and usually the prices are amazing, but I don't know how this small amount of meat was $99. I mean, there's not a whole lot here. Luckily, I can only eat a little bit at a time, and I really got this for me to kind of eat on this week, or not this week, this month. Um, but it looks like we got two top sirloins, so, I mean, sirloin is great, but that's not an expensive cut of meat. That's one of the least expensive cuts of meats. Caroline just pointed out that it is Wagyu, and that's she's correct. That is a superior quality, and it's also 100% grass-fed, although it does not say 100% grass-finished. So if it doesn't say that, you don't really know, but Wagyu is good quality. Two 8-ounce sirloins. We got three pounds of this First Light Wagyu ground beef, and the packaging's kind of like messed up a little, which I don't love. Like I had to peel this off to see that this was ground beef as well. And then they have four, six burgers, pre-made burgers. And these are two, a third pound burgers. So for me, considering that I can't eat more than about four, three and a half to four ounces at a time, this will last me a while. And it is Wagyu, so we'll see what it tastes like. And I will let y'all know after I've cooked this, but I've been really craving red meat and I just thought we would try their meat out. Okay, here is the last grocery order of the week. We got some stuff delivered to the house with Walmart Plus. Walmart Plus has a free 15 day trial, y'all. And with that, you can get money off gas at Walmart or Murphy stations and you get groceries delivered to your door for free. Anything over $35, they'll deliver for free as many times as you order. So I decided to try it out and this is what we got. This is some stuff that I had forgotten to add to our order earlier in the week. So this is cheese that I use to make queso. It's Land of Lakes American White Cheddar and I use that to make queso. I got some tortillas. I'm just gonna make some breakfast breakfast burritos to put in the freezer. Big thing of potatoes for the kiddos. I got these for myself when I feel like I want a side of veggies. I'm gonna do mostly like meat based this month, but when I want a side of veggies, this is probably my favorite rice veggie mix. Really, really like it, so I picked that up. I got some taco shells and some mushrooms for a dish, chicken dish that my kids want. I got a big thing of Caesar salad, some pork rinds to restock for, mainly I use these for making my, focus please, mainly I use these for making my keto crumbs and then a thing of half and half for my son for his coffee. Here is something that showed up in the mail today. I'm gonna include this in our grocery hauls of the week. Built Bar has reformulated and I've been hearing good things. So I ordered a mixed box. Jason really likes these as well. So I ordered a mixed box and then this is the brand new style Built Puffs vanilla marshmallow. Apparently it's supposed to take just taste just like marshmallow covered in chocolate and it's 16 grams of protein. So I thought that possibly my son Andrew might like these. I've been trying to get protein in him. And these are not super, super low carb. They do have six grams of sugar in them. But I was thinking that he might enjoy these. And then these are the regular ones, but reformulated that I thought Jason and I could try. I got a variety box here. So there's just like a bunch of different Built Bars. We love Built Bars, but we haven't tried the new formulation, so we haven't ordered them in a very long time. And then I guess they just sent these samplers. Apparently they have beef broth and chicken broth now, so we'll try these at some point. But that is part of our grocery haul this week. All right, y'all. I thought I would try these Built Puffs. I really bought these for Andrew because they have 16 grams of protein. Their ingredients are pretty decent and they're supposed to taste like marshmallows. They have six grams of sugar, so too much for me really, but I'm gonna just taste it. Andrew tasted it and did not like it at all. 
So Jason said he'll take it to work. It's not something I'm going to eat, really, but I'm going to have one taste. All right. I'm not really sure why he doesn't like that. I don't know why he didn't like that, y'all. It tastes literally like a chocolate-covered marshmallow. It's delicious. I'm definitely going to have to send these with Jason to work. Otherwise, I would enjoy them like a candy bar. I mean, six grams of sugar is really not that bad if you're just low carb or as a healthy treat for kids that are in sports that need some extra protein. That was my thought behind this. He's super picky. I think most kids would like this. I'm really not sure why he didn't, but it's delicious. I'm going to try one of the regular belt bars now because they've been reformulated too and let you know what I think. Y'all. That marshmallow was freaking delicious. Oh my gosh. Vanilla marshmallow. Exactly what it says it is. I wish that was not six grams of carbs. Okay, so this built Bar is 130 calories, 17 protein. This is the Zero Guilt Mint Brownie. Now, the issue with this is, and was before when I had stopped getting them, was because it had a maltodextrin. Well, now it says digestion resistant maltodextrin. I'm not familiar with that. I've never heard it described that way, but I'm gonna definitely check what this does to my blood sugar. Not today, but probably tomorrow on an empty stomach with my continuous blood sugar monitor and see what it does to me. Today, I just wanna taste it for the sake of this video. I'm not gonna eat the whole bar. I'm just tasting these for y'all. I'm always a huge fan of the flavor of Built Bars. I haven't become an affiliate with them because I didn't like all of the ingredients that I only like to be with affiliates with and fully recommend products that I 100% stand behind. But since they reformulated it, I wanted to try it again. All right, editing Erica checking in one more time. I did go ahead and test a Built Bar this morning with my continuous blood sugar monitor. So. My blood sugar was 87. I had a Built Bar, one of the new formulated Built Bars. I think I had a chocolate brownie or something like that. Ate that on an empty stomach first thing this morning. Blood sugar was 89. Within half an hour, my blood sugar was 120. So it spiked quite a bit. And then by the two hour mark, it was back down to 89. But that is more than I would like. I was really hoping it wasn't going to do that but I think that maltodextrin is still really messing with me. So built bars are not going to be a thing for me. I'm going to let Jason take them to work and eat on them. And I just, I can't recommend them. I love how they taste, but just too much of a blood sugar reaction for me. Rolling in three. Y'all are all looking at it. I feel like Jack and I shouldn't yeah. be in it. Because y'all are all pissed for us. All right, here we go. Here we go. Four people up front. Okay, so the plan today is I bought a bunch of I bought a bunch of new things that we've never tried, and I thought instead of telling you later down the road, we just do it in today's grocery haul. So we're gonna try all these things. These are all things that they've never. Oh, don't blow on the neck. I did not. Blow on <laughs> Somebody neck. blew on. Okay. I did not okay. want her neck. So like obviously well. there's only two keto items here. The rest of these are like special treats for the family. So I'm going to kind of move off to the side and let them all taste and let you know because I'm not going to eat all, all right, of this. Alright, well you want to try first. So you want to do chips first or sweet first? You should chips. Okay, well, this is the Nashville hot chicken. Hot chicken, hot chicken. How are they? Do they taste like Nashville hot chicken? It should be like spicy sweet. Mm -hmm. I taste like you put Frank's on a chip. No, that's a Nashville. Alright, so this, this no, next one, okay, okay, so like, they're not a fan. Those taste like potato chips. Mine doesn't have any flavor. So the aftertaste kind of tastes like hot yeah, chicken. Okay, next is the Taco Bell chip. This Taco is supposed Taco to taste Bell. like Taco Bell hot sauce. That's kind of accurate. Yeah. That. I don't like Taco Bell in the first place. I don't like Taco Bell. Okay, and then the next is a Cuban sandwich, which is like pickle and pickle, pickle and pork, pickle. right? Pickle and pork is what a Cuban sandwich yeah. is. That's good. Yeah, it's good. Like it's good. Chips. It's just yeah. a dill it just pickle chip. It just tastes chip. like pickle. Very good. Okay. All right. So 
we didn't, not so much on the Nashville hot, but I'm guessing they'll still eat them. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's get the chips out of the way. Okay, next, my kids have never had a ding dong. And I saw these cute little heart ones, and for some reason I decided that hey, I would Mom, get them. How come we never had a ding dong? Trade lunches at school? Today you get one. Thing? So no, here, this is, a, this is a, a, a ding dong. That's called a ding dong. What do y'all think? Nothing better than a Twinkie. Better than a Twinkie? I've never had a Twinkie. You've never had a Twinkie? Mm. Twinkies are bad. It's chocolate and cream. Thank okay, you. so. Little babies are better. Is it out? Yep. That was it? it? No, we've all one. shared part of one. Where's the other one? They're put up. Okay, now, these are fit like Fig Newtons. These are delicious. These are the off brand, all the like brand Fig, Fig Newtons. Newtons. But, oh. I usually Good go for the apple ones, you know what I'm saying? You like the apple ones? I like the new ones. I told you he really means he likes the neutral green apple ones. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Are these, are these, are <laughs> these are good. Okay, so this is a keto cookie. What? This is Aldi brand keto cookie. We're out of ding -dongs? Chocolate chip cookie. Oh, what? They're good. Yeah, how are they? Yeah. These are like the other ones you have. Right, the yeah. high one. These are like high key. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are good. They don't have too much of the... Mm -hmm. They have too much of the cooling effect. You think? I don't think so. I don't really like that. All right, there's one more. I didn't think so. Is this one we got? No. No, there's this. This is I didn't is think they were cooling at all. They have a little bit of the cooling. They really have a little bit of the cooling. All right, this is a snickerdoodle. Mm. I don't like These it. are better. I don't like snickerdoodles. I totally so. had one. I didn't like Uh-huh. I have Definitely not the best snickers. All right, these are very much like high key, and they're much cheaper. So, Aldi for the win. I mean, they're not bad at all. They're like high key. They're not as good, but they're, they're not like nearly as good. Yeah, for the price, I feel like it's fair. You know, for Nashville hot. I mean, they're okay. They're all right, really so nice. that's what we thought of that. Food. Oh, there was one more. What's Hold that? on. Is it knock off? This yeah. would be the knockoff Aldi brand cinnamon toast crunch. This costs a dollar nineteen versus like and four dollars for a cinnamon. All right, so have a taste of the cinnamon. See if you like it. It's fine. Does it taste like cinnamon taste crunch? Yeah, a little of cinnamon, but looks it's like still it. good. Cause this is a really good deal. Yeah, it's pretty good. You haven't even tasted it. I can tell when I it see cinnamon good. toast crunch. It's good. It's too small. It's too elongated. <laughs> But, but what does it taste not... like? It's good. It tastes like the next toast crunch. In the milk, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If I had not shown you this and just put it in a bowl, I bet you would have. No, because I would. I see the size. Okay. There All right, y'all. Well, there was some good. There was some bad. This one was at least worth a shot. That That's his favorite. No, it Cinnamon Toast Crunch is Andrew's favorite cereal. Next part of taste test are these. Arabora, Arabora Herbal Sparkling Waters. The packaging sucked me in. I saw Ashley over at Okrogal and I think Jen Chapin also tried these and they both really liked them. The flavorings were like really strange, like peppermint, watermelon, cactus, rose. Just really, really strange, but the packaging is beautiful. Like, I'll buy anything that looks this pretty and give it a try. Like whoever did their marketing and their packaging, oh my gosh. So my son and my daughter tried the peppermint watermelon and I tasted theirs. We got just two cans in our Thrive order of each, which was nice not to have to get a whole thing. Jackson loves sparkling water, like loves, loves sparkling water. Caroline's not a huge sparkling water fan. We... It was weird. It was like watermelon and then you got the peppermint. It was strange. It was not my favorite. I would not repurchase, but I have not tried this cactus rose, so we're going to try this together. Hmm. I like this one better. I still don't think I'll repurchase them. It was $2.99, I think, for two cans. I don't love it. But it's very interesting. It's almost like you want to keep going back because you're not sure what's happening in your mouth. I'm not sure what that flavor combo is. I thought it would be more rose forward, but I think it's more cactus forward with a little bit of rose. Yeah, it's definitely more cactus forward. 
I don't think I'm gonna finish this. Yeah, this, this is not for me. It's not for me, but it's zero sugar and zero calories per can. Um, ingredients are just the water, prickly pear flavor with other natural flavor, rose flower extract, lemongrass leaf extract. So if you wanna try them, I think Sprout sells them. Also Thrive Market, kind of a no for me. Okay, Jackson. Jackson and Kara home. He's gonna taste this cactus rose that I tasted earlier for y'all. The nose is like bubble gum, maybe like rose or bubble gum. Rose or bubble gum, because those are super similar. It's it's in. Uh, y'all, he's been doing coffee taste tests for his school YouTube channel, and he's like in barista testing mode. I think here. Yeah, it, ta the, it tastes like bubble gum, and then the aftertaste is like Clorox. Bubble gum and bleach. That sounds really appetizing. Yeah, it's I gave it a negative review, else. but not that bad. So that was the haul, y'all. I hope you enjoyed hanging out, seeing what we got. We really stocked up, and you know what? I feel so much better when my house is stocked. I don't know. It's just something... When I'm stocked, I feel much, much better. So, I hope y'all enjoyed that, and I will see you tomorrow for what's for dinner so you can see what we cooked this week.